Hello everyone, I am Fixer and welcome to Test Travel. We take a game out for a spin to get a first impression and you let me know if you'd like to see more. Today, we're checking out a game called Hazel Sky. This was developed by Coffee Attic Studio, published by another indie. I got the demo on Steam during the Steam Game Festival. I don't know if it's still up. Link will be down below if you want to check it out though. So Hazel Sky is a story about a young uh, engineer who is facing his destiny. It's as simple as that. Let's jump in. We start in the water? Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Ciara, the island used by the Casey family for generations. Around 20 miles of tropical vegetation, sand, and family member corpses. Many have failed the trial or just decided not to leave this place. Today is the day that Flynn Casey, using his extravagant gloves, takes his son Shane to this same trial. As tradition demands, the young boy needs to go back to Gideon, the city floating in the sky on the horizon. Completing this task will determine whether he becomes an engineer. Shane's father is the right arm of the current 23rd engineer, the highest rank in the city, and sees the necessity of new engineers since their number has dwindled and a revolution is brewing. Artists, beggars, hand workers, they are all whispering in the dark. And with each day, a new rumor arrives. A new lie is told. And the engineer's strong grip on the city becomes weaker. They will lose control of Gideon the same day a great storm will hit this island on the 24th of April, 1915. Today. Oh, I feel like a Disney princess with all these animals out and about around me. So, wait, what? He drops you off at the island? You gotta find your way back? That's kind of weird. Shane. Am I blindfolded? I guess I wasn't paying that much Cold. attention. I think I'm blindfolded. No. Come. Okay. I mean, it's kind of a weird way to start a game off. Obstructing your view. For a while. Hold my hand, Shane. Um, I'm not controlling him, by the way. This is just a cutscene. I'll, I'll just wait here then, Dad? Okay. Step forward now. Uh, sure. Now, you're on your own. Gee, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Take care, son. Yeah, enjoy that smoker's cough. Um, okay. Oh, there we can finally take it off. I, oh, chapter one, heart. Lovely. The map is missing the floating bay. What? Oh. Hey, buddy. Now it begins. Your granddad was the first one on this island, and after that, each member of our family has gone to her. I remember when your grandpa told me that your uncle Roe would be back in less than a day, and he didn't. In fact, you already know the story of what happened to your uncle. The madness of, a, of our, cor our curse will chase you while you're in here, in there. But if you don't succumb to it, you may arrive at the other side an engineer. Son, you never asked why we do this, but now you can uncover whatever you wish. Here is where we find out who you truly are. You never doubted a word I said to you. But while you prove yourself a capable engineer, I beg you to doubt all that you encounter. This may be the most important trait an engineer can have. So I ask you, do you have it? Uh, uh all right. No, that seems honestly a little abusive, but okay. Hello? It needs a key or something? I don't have a key. The calling. Unexplained occurrences that defy the first logic. Oh my goodness gracious. Every event described in this book took place in the city of Gideon during the obscure times reign with the 13th engineer in power. 
In authoring this book, my focus was not on trying to convince you about those events, but on speaking to the meaning they carry as a whole with regard to the health of the city and the people who live here. Some may call the following texts myths or folk tales, but if you ask the majority of people who live there through the era of the, th era of the 13th engineer, they will not only confirm those events, but indeed they act like those facts are common knowledge to every person. From the most disgusting artist to the most brilliant engineer of the time. This makes me the this makes me ask the important question: Why have our parents and grandparents stopped talking about those events? Are we are they no longer occurring? Witness Marcus Monahan told us that a strong rumor started to circulate that we should not tell our kids about those events, which are not explainable by first logic, and that the lovers of those events and always the beneficiary in these stories were artists. Those who hate logic and common sense. Those who love lust and the most unthinkable behavior. The trigger for some people of the escalating number of unexplained events that are taking place is the erratic and eccentric behavior of the city's new leader, the 23rd engineer that has taken office, Devlin Donnelly, also known as Devil Devlin, the grandson of the 13th engineer. Wow, that's a lot of engineers between grandfather and grandson. This book just uh, projects what the future may hold for the city of Gideon. Read it at your own risk. This book will probably be confiscated and censored by city officials. But this will neither instigate nor d delay those strange occurrences. This reads like a 1950 Twitter post. It is like, hurry, read this before it gets taken down and censored. Hurry. Wait, what? You can open it? Oh my god. Hold on. There's more to read? Um, it's very dark. The three events that precede the falling of the great city are the whispers of an old woman, the hanging corpse, and finally the appearance of a great cat. Those events that were prophesied by Matthew Silber are not simply what they appear to be. The meaning of the pro prophecy is more important than the signs themselves. The hanging corpse is often thought as the suicide of some important figure. It's the opinion of this author that it will not happen in this literal sense. It may mean the death of old costumes or the death of the respect and honor that the engineers used to have, both from the city and from the common civilians who nowadays despise the upper class. Wait a minute. Okay. About the Great Cat. I believe the idea behind this prophecy is the foreshadowing of its completion. The Great Cat may be the constant reminder of a disgusting rumor about the the fall of the city, and that even the constant vigilance of the engineers trying to suppress it is not enough. I recommend reading The Great Cat by my colleague Bella Modelin for a deeper discussion of this specific sign. And as for the first sign, the whisper of a woman in uh, the Gennaro district, there was a rumor that people were hearing moaning and wailing during the night time. This is the most elusive sign of all. I could not decipher its meaning or find any real event that correlates with this. I exhausted every scholar of every major city asking about this myth and nothing came of it. In the oriental tradition of Jilgamar, there is an old myth about the wailing of a woman that brought down a city in the desert. Even so, applying that myth to a modern city like Gideon would be a long shot. Okay. Um, sure. I knew that. Looks like I can't leave. This is my life now. I live in this tower. That seems like a lighthouse. The dawn! The first machine! Through iron and steam, learn about the creation of the most glorious and dignified location on the whole world. This book contains a full story from the foundation of the city of Gideon by the first engineer to the peril he faced when First Logic Defiance tried to stop the launch of the first city into the sky. This book is also a guide to the relationship between Gideon and its four sister cities. Um, open. Good gravy. This is a lot of reading. I wasn't expecting a lot of reading in this demo. Which normally isn't a problem, but my voice can't handle it sometimes. From the ashes of the first prophet, I decided to build upon his creation. He created the basic nature of existence in this plane a long time ago, and from his words... Many try to corrupt others. What the hell am I getting myself into here? Also, this this text could be a little bit hard to read. It's dark in some places and light in others. All the good he did was forgotten. 
Um, I wish there was a way to to read this like I do the outside of the books. And these are, and there are a few left like me who still have memories of those events, memories that were passed along but not experienced. The current state of the ground of the ground world, what remains of it, was a result of the corruption that spread everywhere. Before corruption, oh wait. 37. There's a whole bunch of pages written out. Before corruption arrived there, my city had a, a name that I can't e even remember. All was lost. The courage that faced many wars could not handle deceit, and the peril of uh, this disease was spread from mouth to mouth. I had not reached my prime. I had no master. I had no teacher. On the first day of the disease, I created what would be called the first logic. So... This is in, in direct conflict with the other book, I suppose. Your nature is expendable. It's a remnant of the old ways. Don't ignore your nature. Evolve past it. Don't feel anymore. A problem is an incorrect flux of energy and matter in the current plane. Every last one of them needs to be handled, and if your perception allows you to recognize them, your intellect will allow you to fix them. Well, that, that seems awfully like a... Hmm, okay. Reject the disease. The curse will try to teach you, reach you through the natural cognitive channels. Limit your exposure to them. I presented those three ideas, and they spread faster than the disease. Two weeks after I wrote those words, the city of Gideon was born. I built the first machine that would be the heart of the city, making the, ci uh, the city fly high into the sky, away from the disease. All right. All right, so that's what I was thinking. That All right. That's how the engineers were born started the plague more pages ripped out the plague is called art by the infectees hate it study it so you can better detect its erroneous placement in a civilization and remove it jesus christ so is he capitalizing art here because it's an acronym or an abbreviation i guess acronym would be more accurate um, like every other great leader before me, I tried to reveal the problems with the current system, but at the same time I realized that we should not attack this so-called art. We should allow it to grow and cut it every time. We need to have a good grasp of what this evil is, and to do that, we need to look at it at every chance we get. That's why I wrote the City Anthem, a piece of art to show what the enemy looks like. More pages ripped. I was not forced, nor did I, did I decide to lift the city. The city desired to go up. I was only the vessel of its will. I am being thrown on an island with a bunch of crazy people. A staple gun? Uh, examine? You, a stapler used to fix machine parts, the number one tool of every engineer. Great. Okay, just staple it then, forehead. Oh! Oh, there's the key! I thought I was looking at the bed. Okay, I'm guessing this is for this. Aha! Keep rotating. Well, that's a little weird. Okay, that works. Goal, a Gideon Honor Badge. This used to be given to citizens that denounced any art or artist in the city. I remember seeing someone get arrested in the main square because of that. Lovely. Where the hell are you taking me, Dad? I don't like this. Hold the grip. Hold the grip. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. You should have mentioned jump as well. Hello. I know the district where this was made. Um, yeah. Sure. Well, we'll leave it there then. Ooh, my friends. City matches. These are the same ones we have in the city. Okay, well, leave them there then. Vinyl? What is this? Heart! Hear thy call and end your suffering all through the right way of thinking. You may then concede eternal loyalty to return home. Be faithful to the belief of the first engineer and live a life full of great service. Move every hammer with the same will you did the first time and never give up of only the truth that inhabits life, the first logic. Okay, well, that's my way up, I guess. 
Lovely. Oh, I got other stuff to look at first. Oh, it's stinky, I guess. Okay, interesting. He doesn't like that. Gotcha. A spyglass. A telescope. Spyglass. Um. Wait. Oh, use. Hold. Okay, interesting. Well, if that wasn't creepy, I don't know what is. Did you see that guy? There was a guy standing there. What is that red thing? I don't know. Unequip? Okay. Oh, I put it in my pocket? I'll just steal that. Press V to equip. Okay. Weird. Oh, excuse me? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I don't I don't understand much of that at all. Will this teach me? Oh, okay. I have a terrible memory. This isn't going to help me. G B M C A M D. Okay. Um G B M C A M D. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Somebody got a little bit angry with the other guitar, though. And there's bugs, like, everywhere. This place is pretty filthy. What was that? Oh. Nothing. Just a camera trick with the light. All right, let's go up one more. It feels a little weird, though... I guess we're if if he's standing behind something it kind of goes a little, little see-through. I don't know if I like that yet or not. Myra here. Oh. We've been silent long enough. Oh. They don't know what's coming to them. They can spit in our faces now, but we will get everything back to them. It's going to be soon. If you want to help us and fight back the repression, meet us at the statue tomorrow at noon. Join us. We will not be quiet for much longer. What's the red paint will wash the streets soon enough. Really? Okay, so I don't understand what's going on here. That sounds like some sort of rebellion. Enter the city with a new title to start your new life. The proving is the time of to carefully watch and evolve yourself. Always be aware of your surroundings and how to use it to your benefit. A engineer, oh goodness gracious, should be able to bend nature elements to his will and see more in them than what they look. He'd follow the blueprint. I'm sorry, did I say something? The first task is to fix the glider and fly to Sierra using it. Fix the hole in the back of the glider using wood. Cover the biggest tear on the left using cloth. Insert coal in the launcher and proceed to the island. That's easy. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, a cigar. I remember someone smoking one at home when I was really young. He had red hair, but when I asked Dad about this, he says he was a friend of Mom and we shouldn't talk about it. Oh. Red hair. Uh, so... Is that trying to tell me I'm not my father's son? What? What? Why did the camera move? Why are those yellow pipes like that? That looks like a puzzle. Moon seeks no fool. Oh! Well, I guess I'll just fall through the hole in the ground. Why not? Um. That looks unsafe as well. 
Oh, well, that looks like cloth to me. I know what I have to do. Um, no, no, I mean, yeah. Oh, sure. There we go. Uh, oh! Aha! Moon fears the dusk. Moon claims your skin? I would very much not like Moon to do such a thing. Do I just push this over? No? Oh! Okay. Oh, wait, what? No, sorry. Pardon me. I don't think I could control that. Oh, God, that's killing my frames. What is that? Oh, that's cloth. Wait, what? I gotta hold it? Okay, that's a little weird. Wait, there's nothing else here. What are those? Soap? Is that soap? Alright, let's go up then. Need to use this somewhere. Oh, yeah, I got that already, chief. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's a little bright. Holy cow. Um, oh. Let's get this done. What's this? It's coal. What's that? Alright, that stuff I gotta use to repair this? Oh. What the that's shit? Paul. What do you mean that's Paul? It's a dead dude. What the shit? I don't want you to waste who you are like I did. Do what you want, Shane. Your dad and mine and everyone in that town will tell you what you should do all the way up until you die a dumb death like mine. You'll be completely forgotten by everyone if you keep doing this. The woman is closer now. Don't go back to Gideon if you don't want to. Your cousin, Paul. I am I taking his up, Paul. death rather lightly. This is very, very creepy. Um. <clears throat> Here, goggles. Um, okay. Well, I mean... Oh, excuse me, Paul. Yeah, you're a little stinky, Paul. Uh, hey, let's look around and see if we can find a, a man on the beach again. A silhouette. Oh, there's the ship. What? So the ship drops me off? And then arrives at the island? Okay. How about how about what was floating in the sky? Was that what was that? A city? Yeah, there's that thing. It says oh there we go, zoom. Interesting. Alright. Oh, ho, ho. did you see that? He was right there. I see you, you little jerk. Wonder if we'll see him again somewhere. Like, if I zoom in, is he going to be like, hello? It's as far as I can zoom in. Um, okay. That, I don't know why, but that brightness hurts my eyes. Yeah, I know, he's stinky. Need to use this somewhere. Yeah, I got it. How? E? No? Release. Oh! Oh! Okay, I got you. I feel you, game. Easy. Okay, repaired. I am an engineer. Um, okay, Cole. Need to use this somewhere. Done. Oh, okay. Mm. Is this the test? Is that all it is? Do I have to fly this Perfect. thing oh, without crashing That's or something? It. Done. That, yeah. So, as far as I'm aware, the test that I am taking to see if I'm a, a good engineer. Is I have to get to that island, right? That's kind of a, a weird te 
test, but, you know, whatever. Is there anything else anywhere? No? No islands? Is it me, or, or, or does that hurt my, your eyes? Is there, is there, like, a blurriness to the distance that hurts your eyes or something? I don't know. All right. Let's hop in. E. Oh, my God. I can control it, but it's not really doing anything. It's just leaning to the side a little bit. I can move the, the wings and the tail a little bit. Oh, there we go. I mean, I want to land. Oh. Oh, my repairs were bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's the demo. Wait, what are you doing, game? You're kicking me out of the game? That's a little weird. Okay. So there you go. That's Hazel Sky. I'm interested in it. I, I had some frame problems. And on this computer, I don't think I should have some frame problems. I don't know. So that's interesting. I mean, the whole thing is a little weird to me. The, the engineer fixed the plane with this little piece of cloth and you're ready to go to pass the test. Um, but I don't know. I'm interested enough to see more. So... I don't know, perhaps one day when the game is out. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.